So let's take a look at uh, an app to get our little ones coding or learning to code for the first time. So we've already looked at tutorials for Game Press and Hopscotch. Today we're going to look at Daisy the Dino here uh, from the creators of Hopscotch. Um, fantastic, um, really early learner uh, coding app to get kids going. We've got two modes here. We've got free play mode and challenge mode. Let's go to free play mode first. And basically what we do here is um, drag over some steps. So we've got, let's go with a move, uh, move forward, repeat five times, um, a little bit of a turn, um, and then grow, and maybe a jump. And then we test it. So it's actually getting even young kids to, to put in some code, drag it over, test it, see if it actually works. And then we'll press play. And you can see Daisy mine moving over there, five forwards, turn, grow, and a, and a jump. Um, so that's fantastic. And what we can do then is we can go back to our menu here and actually go now to the, um, let me go back again, to the challenge mode. Um, and so once we've had a bit of a, a head start here, we've got first step, hello and welcome to Hopscotch. Try figuring out how to move Daisy so that she stops at the center of the star. So what we've got here is a, a really good move sort of situation. Press play, test it out. It says congratulations and we move on. So now instead of just a free play mode, we're actually getting young students to um, create code that actually does something, almost like a client-based or project-based setup. Uh, fantastic app um, for little ones. Let's get kids learning to code from a young age so that um, they're developing skills sequentially and actually they're gaining skills e even from a, a lower level. Uh, and it also gets kids off those games, apps, the busy colouring in type ones that has very little to do with um, learning and education. So this is a fantastic one to get little kids learning how to code. Paul Hamilton here signing off.